What's new in Paranoid Android Quartz 4? What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in Paranoid Android Quartz 4 based on Android 10. As you can see I am running Paranoid Android Quartz 4 official build on my POCO F1 and the first change you will notice is that the security patch has been updated to July 5th, 2020. Next up, they have added a very demanded feature which is app lock and this might very well be the first custom ROM which is based on AOSP to implement app lock. Now where do you find this feature? Well, you can go into settings, security and bam, here it is, app locker. You do need to enter your pin. And once you've entered your pin, you can choose whatever application you want to lock. As you can see, I have locked the files application and you also have a toggle to authenticate the app only once. And if you enable this toggle, then the app will stay unlocked for 15 seconds after exiting. The second option is to hide notification content while the app is locked. So if the application is locked, the notification content won't be shown. And the best part, this app lock works with your fingerprint, face unlock and pin. So let us open the files application. Bam, here it is. You can see that the application is locked and I can either use my pin or the fingerprint or my face to unlock the app. Tap on use pin, I can enter my pin and there it is. Once I entered my pin, the application was unlocked. Let us open the files application one more time. There it is, it is locked and this time we can use my fingerprint bam there it is application unlocked successfully and similarly you can unlock the application using your face as well do note that the face unlock which is implemented in paranoid android at the time of recording this video does not use ir face unlock it uses the normal camera the next change you will find in paranoid android quartz 4 is that the screen recorder now lets you record internal audio so here it is let me open the screen recording application from the quick setting tile audio source right now disabled you can choose either internal or the microphone these are the different options which you have next up they have added swipe to face unlock on the lock screen you do have to turn that option on so you can go into settings security face unlock enter your pin and once you've entered your pin you have a toggle to swipe to unlock whereas swipe up on the lock screen to use face unlock and bam once you do that you can now swipe up from the lock screen to enable face unlock the only advantage of this is that as soon as you press the power button your device will not be unlocked you will have to explicitly swipe up for face unlock next up they have added full gesture navigation support so you can go into settings system gestures system navigation as you can see gesture navigation is enabled and these are the different options you get so you can configure your gesture bar size the amount of screen height to be used as a touchable region for the back gesture and you can also configure the sensitivity of the edges of course you do have the toggle to hide the ugly navigation bar as well and the gestures and the animations on this quartz build are pretty smooth with no issues of lags or any jitters next up they have also added the option to link or unlink the notification and ringtone volumes which can be found in settings and sound and here is the toggle which we are talking about as soon as i enable this you can see that the notification volume slider is grayed out or disabled if i disable this toggle this slider is now enabled next up you also have a tile for enabling or disabling heads up notifications and here is the tile you might have to edit your existing tiles and add it to the active tiles in case you do not see it in your quick settings then they have also added long press the power button for torch where do you find this option you can go into settings system gestures here it is quick torch right now is off let us enable it and now when the screen is off long pressing the power button is going to enable the torch there it is you can see that the torch was enabled and if i long press it it will turn off so a pretty nifty feature in my opinion 
and last but not the least they have also added status bar icon manager so if you go into settings go into display advanced bam here it is icon manager you can now configure or control what all icons you want to see in your status bar and you have a toggle for all the different options and of course you also have these multiple options for your battery other than that they have also implemented volume panel 1.1 now me personally i could not see any changes but they might have made some changes in the background for the volume panel and there it is peeps those are the new features which were added with quartz 4 build of paranoid android and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you